Welcome to SmashingBlog.com. Here at Smashing Blog, we're in love with cryptocurrency and all of that good stuff. Today, Smashing Blog wants to talk to you about cryptocurrencies. There seems to be a misconception out there that every single cryptocurrency is a currency. And Smashing Blog wants to spend a few minutes with you to try and see if we can make things a bit clearer. Okay. Cryptocurrencies. Most cryptocurrencies are based on the blockchain. We know that the blockchain has three principles. Open ledger, decentralization and synchronization. Now, we have in cryptocurrency, we have currencies. So, uh, let's take um, Bitcoin. Let's take Litecoin and some others. Okay. Now, what the blockchain brings is it brings the ability to overcome double spend it gives us immutability of data and it gives us reduced uh, transaction costs It also helps us to bank the unbanked. There are 60% of people in the world out there, or so the stats say, who are unable to access banking facilities. And that's primarily because we don't hold adequate data on them. So it gives us the chance to give them access to banking to be able not to do all their transactions in cash. Okay, so we bank the unbanked. Now, we also have things called privacy coins. So, let's go privacy. Privacy coins are coins like Monero, Dash, Zcash, etc. A privacy coin is a coin where the sender's address and the recipient's address are both masked. Once a transaction is made, you are unable to track where that transaction went. I read recently about, I think it was Russia's agents had used Bitcoin as part of their massive plot. This is where the media, I think, has a misunderstanding of what cryptocurrencies are. Bitcoin is trackable. If you use enough data, you can work out where each Bitcoin has been sent. Monero isn't trackable. Sender's address, masked. Recipient's address, masked. And lots of instances, the actual transaction itself, the amount that was sent, is masked too. So, had they done their homework, they would understand, I mean, this is the Russian guys, they would understand that that wasn't the right coin for them, but hey. Okay, we also have things like smart contract platforms. And these are prime, the big guy, Ethereum. Then we have Neo, and we have others, okay? A smart contract is a computer protocol that digitally verifies, enforces, facilitates and monitors contracts without the need of a third party. Okay, This changed the whole ball game in the crypto space. The majority of smart contracts are currently based on the Ethereum blockchain. What we also have though, is we have things called dApps, decentralized applications. Now decentralized applications are applications that are built on top of a smart contracts platform. So we have dApps, 
and let's in this instance take the daps from Ethereum. So let's have we have things like Augur, we have things like Binance, we have things like Omisigo. Then we have some other some other applications that were built on the Ethereum blockchain and are now breaking out onto their own blockchains in some instances offering their own smart contract platforms and these are let's let's call them breakouts and these are platforms like EOS let's go up so we have EOS let's uh, we have Tron, we have Zilliqa, and so on and so forth. So, to summarize, cryptocurrencies are not just made up of currencies, they're made up of currencies, privacy coins, smart contract platforms, we have dApps, we, we have a whole range of different types of coins out there and that's the reason why it's always said understand your coins understand how they fit into this space and understand the value that they are bringing if a new coin comes out and is possibly a dap is doing something great but in the roadmap for bitcoin or possibly ethereum that functionality is is planned is a great likelihood because they have a bigger brand name that smaller coin might not take off smashing bloke out if you like what smashing bloke does give us some likes and subscribe smashing bloke peace